Keeping toxic industrial chemicals known as PFAS from being discharged into the Kennebec River is one step closer to reality. The Kennebec is the source of drinking water for several communities, and one water district is working on a way to eliminate it from the water it sends to homes and businesses. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee went to the Anson Madison Sanitary District to see how this first of its kind technology will work, and other districts may soon use it as well. Currently, no systems in Maine can remove PFAS from wastewater before it's discharged into rivers and other tributaries. A method used by the aquarium industry to skim proteins off the water surface in massive tanks could be the solution. We're not removing fish waste, we're removing part per trillion levels of PFAS from water. Steve Woodard, the chief innovation yeah. officer with Emerging Compounds Treatment Technologies, ECT2, is leading a team pioneering ways to flush out and destroy toxic chemicals that take decades to break down in the environment and in the body. Right now it's not hooked up because we're just doing a demonstration with, with with dish soap. Engineers adapted the method known as foam fractionation, designing a fractionator that draws the compounds out of the wastewater by adding turbulence and air similar to a blender. The PFAS, because of their chemical properties, adhere to the bubbles and travel up and create foam. Right, they, they latch onto air bubbles. The PFAS laced foam rises to the top and water is purified to low or non-detectable levels. The foam is then discharged into this container. We have technologies that can further concentrate our foamate just to make the smallest volume possible. Uh, yeah. Ten fractionators have been sent to the Anson Madison Sanitary District, a multi-million dollar test project site. The facility treats waste from Anson and Madison, one of the many plants that discharge treated waste into the Kennebec River, a primary source of drinking water. Engineers are also trying to find the best way to destroy the concentrated PFAS, but that technology is costly and not yet widely available. It's cheaper to go to landfills. The problem is we're running out of landfill space, so pretty soon we're going to have to, communities, industries are going to have to spend the money to destroy PFAS on site. The first of its kind centralized treatment system has a $60 million price tag. However, it could ultimately take leachate from main landfills and septage 2 million gallons daily, removing the compounds before they are discharged into waterways throughout the state. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.